So in today's video, I'm going to show you a new rack that I put on the FJ. It's something kind of mashed up parts, ARV fitting kit with Yakima bars. So this right here is the ARV fitting kit. This is usually what you use to mount the ARV baskets they sell. I'm too cheap to buy the ARV uh, basket, so I just bought the fitting kit. And uh, I have a whole bunch of Yakima accessories from other cars I've had, so I figured I'd uh, mount these Yakima bars. People have done it online, it's not like an original idea. Just never seen a video of it being done. And if you want a pretty economical solution for your rack, um, for an FJ, uh, take a look at this. So I mean, so pretty much what happens is you get the fitting kit from Yakima. And I'll put all the part numbers and everything in the links below. And you mount it pretty much how you would. I did something a little bit different on mine just because I um, I didn't really like the bolts that came with it. So I used the bolts that were from like um, FJ with no rack. And um, I got some water leakage. I'm not sure if that's a normal thing or if it's just on mine. I know one of the threads um got stripped on one of my mounting bolts so maybe that could have been part of the problem but anyway i siliconed this up so now it doesn't leak then uh once you get that i got some u bolts here they're one and a quarter inch once again i'm gonna put all the parts in the description uh so and then i put 58 inch yakima bar so i haven't tried it but i measured it and it seems like 48 inch yakima bars would work as well i like uh, the 58s on here because they stick out a little bit further than the um, than the fitting kit so that means I can mount like my bike racks off to the side and I mean I might move those bike racks actually more inward um, more outward I mean so that they're further out and maybe up front instead of in the back I have this basket case from Yakima that I um, mounted on the front here I had to create a little bit of uh, an adapter for it I just put two uh, I put some uh, nylon spacers here and uh, bolted it up otherwise how it would and it's for what I'm gonna use it for it's strong enough I put my weight on it and it seems to hold it well so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that and I have the bike rack now the nice thing about using the ARV mounting kit and not some other uh, mounting kit is that if you look out like this is flat on top which is one of the big things that I wanted when um, I was looking for a rack now the reason I wanted it flat is because I like to put wood and plywood on top of my FJ at times and um, since it's flat I can do that and I can mount that up pretty nicely. Also having used 58 inch bars leaves me a little bit more bar on the side so if I do put some 48 by 8 foot um, plywood on here I can uh, I still have somewhere to grab my ratcheting straps or whatever I'm using to tie it down with. So I really like this setup a lot actually. And it's also lower profile. So I know, I know like going into my carport uh, with the factory rack, I was really close. I had maybe an inch of clearance. And now with this setup, even with the bike racks, I have about four inches of clearance. And without the bike racks, I have about six to seven inches of clearance. So I don't know, that might mean that we need to lift the FJ up some more. So right now it just has the Bilstein 5100s up front. Maybe we need to look at lifting it to more maybe some 35s when these tires are done but actually no because i'm really happy with the setup and haven't done much to it uh otherwise so um yeah i just thought i'd show you this rack if you're thinking of upgrading to your fj and are on a budget or just cheap like i am this is a pretty cheap and expensive way to get a flat rack you can mount long things onto and i like using the yakima bars because that allows the like, accessories that i can mount on here are pretty much endless right like there's bike racks there's i have a yakima rocket top carrier i can put on here which i could do that before but now i think that it being a little bit lower profile really makes it sound more appealing um so yeah if you like this video and check out my other videos and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys soon